Google's Imagen 3 is out and you can try it right now on ImageFX. In this video, I'll briefly discuss Google's latest text to image model and showcase some images generated with this AI. Then I'll compare Imagen 3 with Flux.1, a free and open source model that can rival Midjourney and any other model currently available. You know what? Let me show you some image samples generated with both these models using the same prompt. I'm not shuffling the order of the models between left and right, I'm keeping their positions the same. Try to guess the model and which one you think is the best. If you can't guess the model, don't worry, keep watching the video and you'll find the answer. Now, before we jump in and try the Imagen 3 model, let me give you some information and showcase some images generated with this model first. According to Google, Imagen 3 is their highest quality text-to-image model yet. It's capable of generating images with even better detail, richer lighting, and fewer distracting artifacts than their previous models. They've significantly improved Imagen 3's ability to understand prompts, helping it generate a wide range of visual styles and capture small details from longer prompts. To be even more useful, this model will be available in multiple versions, each optimized for different tasks, from generating quick sketches to high-resolution images. Moreover, this model generates high-quality images in a wide range of formats and styles, from photorealistic landscapes to richly textured oil paintings or whimsical claymation scenes. Imagine 3 also understands prompts written in natural, everyday language, making it easier to get the output you want without complex prompt engineering. To help Imagine 3 capture nuances like specific camera angles or compositions in long complex prompts, Google added richer detail to the caption of each image in its training data. Given better information to learn from, Imagine 3 more accurately generates a wide range of subjects and styles. Imagine 3 generates visually rich, high-quality images with good lighting and composition. It can accurately render small details like the fine wrinkles on a person's hand and complex textures like a knitted stuffed toy elephant. Google has also significantly improved its text rendering capabilities, opening up new possibilities for use cases like stylized birthday cards, presentations, and more. Okay, so enough with all the features and examples, let's test and compare Google's new Imagine 3 model with the Flux Realism LoRa model. My first prompt is, capture an intimate long shot of the subject against a natural backdrop, using a Leica camera to emphasize cinematic depth. While it's generating, notice that it automatically selects keywords in your prompt, and using this drop-down menu, you can select different variations of that keyword. Imagine 3 couldn't create what I asked for, it's telling me to try a different prompt. Now, while I was testing Imagine 3, I noticed that it is heavily restricted. You'll see that in a bit. Let's try the same prompt in Flux. As you can see, Flux is able to generate the image without any problem. Let me try a different prompt. This time, Imagine 3 was successful in creating the image and I really like it. Let's see how this prompt comes out with Flux. Let me know which version you like the most. For the next image, I'll use Happy Hulk standing in a beautiful field of flowers. Let's hit the create button and wait for the result. Wow, I think it came out really good. Let's see if Flux can beat this image. I think Google's Imagine 3 was better, especially with rendering the Hulk character. Okay, now let's see if Imagine 3 can generate an image of Elon Musk playing basketball. Looks like it can't generate images of famous people, probably for safety reasons. Let's see if Flux can generate it. As you can see with Flux, there are no restrictions like that. But I don't think this man looks 100% similar to Elon Musk. There is a slight resemblance, but it is certainly not him. Now, let's see how each model renders the text. Again, it's saying to try a different prompt. Let's change the keyword teenage girl to elderly woman. I think because I use teenage girls in the prompt, it might not generate the image. Well, still no luck. If I run the same prompt on the Flux AI image generator, it gives an excellent image. However, there are some minor issues in her braces and fingers. Let me try another prompt. 
Looks like this time Imagine 3 was successful in creating the image and text rendering is also accurate. Let's run the same prompt on Flux. Let me know which model generates the image better. Let's try one more image. The prompt is about a glamorous young woman holding up a white card with Google Imagine 3 written on it in elegant calligraphy. Holy smokes, this came out seriously good. Let's see if Flux can come up with a better image. Looks like for some reason the Flux Realism LoRa model is not working. Let's generate it on the Pro model. Oh, by the way, I am using Anakin AI to access all these Flux.1 models. If you want to know how to access Flux.1 models here on Anakin AI, watch my previous video. So, between these two models, which one do you like the most? Do let me know in the comments. To me, I think both can generate realistic images that are far better than Stable Diffusion and DALI 3 and can rival Midjourney. But Google Imagine 3 is heavily restricted where Flux is really flexible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with others. And if you want to see more videos on the latest AI tools and insights, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.